Welcome. This is Joshua Benoist in Autodesk Product Support. So we're going to talk about video one um, of a device block creation. So let's talk about the customer's issue. So the customer is making a electrical device. Uh, he starts with an existing device and a lot of customers m make this m mistake even from scratch so it really is not too relevant that we're starting with a template device um, but ultimately after they've created the device for some reason when they insert the device off the tool palette it's bigger uh, you know it it tends to double triple uh, in size and stuff so why is that well there's a trick to it actually it's not much of a trick this is this is how you need to create all your blocks that you intend to scale with the annotative scale it doesn't matter if it's a block an MV part a device if it's a symbol that you want to scale with the annotative scale you need to build it using this method so let's go talk about that so I've got some devices here that the customer has given me and we may use these we may not but let's let's just throw in a, a device off a tool palette so we're inserting this device off the tool palette and the size is determined by the annotative scale so you know right now it's currently set at one inch equals one foot well, I think part of the problem that our customers are having is that they don't understand how the annotative skill works now compared to how it used to, you know, going back 10, 20 years, you know, been you know, classic AutoCAD has, has done it years ago. You, know, you would mentally say, okay, well, my scale, paper based scale is 1 8 inch, and I've got to multiply it out by 12 inches. Um, to convert from feet to inches uh, and so my scale I need to make my uh, symbols at a scale of 98 um, your scale would be 48 you know if you were doing a quarter scale so they would do it that way mentally in their heads nowadays we let the software do that calculation for you um, so let's understand annotate a scale real quick before I show us how to create these devices so let's say I'm making a building and I'm just going to make a square so I'm just going to start here and I'm going to say let's say my building is 50 feet long let's see here I want to use the at sign at 50 foot comma um, and let's say it's only 20 foot in this direction so anytime we draw in model space we're drawing to true scale it never changes you always draw it to true scale so there's you know kind of our pretend building right there just the footprint I'm gonna zoom to the extents here in fact I may even just get rid of these devices down there alright so here's our, our building drawn to true scale in model space it's not drawn to this scale if I measure the length of one of these sides I can see we're going to need multiple videos here so we're running out of time um, let's measure the length of one of those sides it's going to say 50 foot so let's go to the analyze tab you can also use the in if you're using an older version use the uh, inquiry toolbar so let's measure the length of one of these sides here it says 50 foot okay so that's true scale now let's switch to paper space and I'm gonna double click out here I'm gonna get rid of that by hitting delete uh, we've got to resize this um, paper space border and I want the scale of this it's one foot to one foot 